Hi, I would like to show you how I use Melodyne to make polyphonic loops from Studio One and Logic Pro to conform to the chord structure of my DAW session. Here I have found some loops that I think fits my project. I think this would be great as the intro. I have put these loops that I have found and arranged them here as I want them. Let's go to the top. As you can hear, the keys of the tracks are all over the place. The loops in my mix, but that's what I'm going to use Melodyne to fix eventually. Right now, I'm only interested in arrangement, feel, and the sounds that I like. Let's listen to it. It's totally out of key. They all have their own roots. Again, totally different keys. These kind of fits in the key. So, that's cool. In the key of A. Now I have the arrangement I am happy with. What I have to do now is just export these out as individual tracks or stems, whatever you want to call them. Okay. Now I am in Logic Pro. I have just imported the piano track from the original DAW project. You can see it starts out here at bar five and I found some loops I like. I have some guitars here at the end. We'll get to hear that but mostly it's percussion beats and effects loops that I'm adding here. This is what it sounds like. Again, you hear this wild stuff. The loops are out of tune with the backing track. Let's look at this guitar track. I found this guitar. It fits what I like in terms of the feel and the performance, but not necessarily in the right key. Let's go here and listen. It is absolutely chaos. Now I just need to export all the polyphonic tracks. I'll export the percussion tracks later. I don't need to worry about those right now. All the guitar loops and polyphonic tracks, I will export them out to fix in Melodyne. I export them from the very beginning of the track so I know they'll line up. This way I don't have to worry about where to drop them on the timeline. I arrange them here where I want them to appear in the song structure but I'll export as individual tracks in the full length of the whole song from 110 and all the way out to the very end. Okay, and then bring that into Melodyne. The first thing I did in Melodyne was entering the tempo because I don't want Melodyne to analyze the tempo, so I just enter the tempo of the project directly here. Then I will locate the guide track from my original DAW session and import it. 
Melodyne is now not only detecting the individual notes, it's also detecting chords and tempo, or assigning tempo depending on my settings. And now you see Melodyne has automatically detected the chords in the track. If I'm not happy with a detected chord, I can change it. I can listen to a chord that doesn't sound right. I can just double click and make it an A minor seven. There we go. If Melodyne detected the wrong chord, you simply just change it here. Now, another thing. I like to use Melodyne standalone because I can have multiple projects open at the same time. So, let's go over here. Here you see I've cleaned up the chords. That's the intro you remember from the odd sounding session. Before I'll do anything, I need to go to Options and turn on Chord Snap, which means whenever I move any blobs here, they will fit my track's chords. You see, I have the A minor. So all the white lanes are the ones that fits the scale. Now it fits in the A minor scale. I didn't get these blobs, so they are still in the wrong key. Let's get the blobs up here. Right. Let's hear the mix with it. And same thing with the synthesizers. Go here. Let's see here. Get them to fit. So, that's how we get these to fit. Let's jump to the outro here. Let's go look at the guitars. Basically, we have the same thing here. Let's get out here to the outro where we have the guitars join. Make them fit the key simply by just clicking on the blobs. I've already done it. You see it now fits into the chord structure.
That's how I just get these loops to fit the chords of my track using Melodyne. So the only thing I need to do is simply go export. Export the tracks. Of course, as individual WAV files. And then I'll drag them into my DAW project. And as they are exported as full-length files, they will fit. I can just drag them in and start at beat 110. Let's go and look at the DAW project and listen to the finish project. Here I have imported all the tracks. I've done a little bit of editing. Done some more arranging to add some effects and stuff, but as you can see, this is like in Studio One and Logic. These are the same names. Here's the intro. Let's listen to the full track. You can just scroll back and forth in the video if you don't want to listen to the full track. So here we go.
Okay. And there you have it. I made some basic tracks in my DAW. Mixed and exported a guide track and also the piano track itself. Brought the mixed track into Studio One. Found some loops and dragged them into the Presona Studio One session, arranged them. No matter whether the chord and pitch were fitting my track. I went for the performance, feel and timbre, and made the arrangement. Exported all of them out as individual tracks. I then imported my guide track piano into Logic Pro and found more loops. I chose both percussion and some guitar loops. Exported the tracks at full length from 110. Then I went to Melodyne Standalone. I like to work in Melodyne Standalone, so everything is self-contained in the respective applications. I can go back and work in that without having to touch my DAW session. I can also have multiple session open at the same time in Melodyne Standalone. I like that. That's very, very cool. I imported the guide track into Melodyne. Fixed a few misdetected chords, turned on chord snap in Melodyne. Chose all the blobs and double clicked them. They dropped straight into where they fit with the chord structure that was analyzed and set in Melodyne. Then I exported them back into my DAW session here and did the mix. I made a few more edits in the DAW for effects and other things to trigger some reverbs, delays, and reversed audio. That's why you see there's a little edit here, but that's just part of my workflow. I got these loops to work. It is fast to do in Melodyne. I like it. What do you think? Leave your comments below. I would love to hear if this is a tip that will help you.